Good morning and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where the sun is shining and we're still here in wonderful Great Yarmouth as we continue on with our trip visiting various different theme parks on the east coast of England. So this morning we're going to be visiting Joyland. We absolutely love it here. I cannot wait to get back on the classic snail. Oh, you've got the tub twist here as well. You've got the little coaster, the Spook Express, the dart ride and you always love coming down here every year. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our previous two vlogs in this little series over summer. We started off at Pleasurewood Hills in Lowestoft and also visited Britannia Pier to get out their new little coaster which was good fun wasn't oh, it's it? it's nice to see the Valley of the Coasters in the pier, it's a very good lineup. Yeah definitely, you've got some good things down here, you've got four different parks all within this vicinity and of course we're heading to Joyland in this vlog and then walking down the seafront and making our way to Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach and yeah finally the weather has been really nice for us these past couple of days, hopefully it continues as we make our way down to Clacton Pier and also Adventure Island that are going to be coming up as well but uh, yeah we're going to make our way down to Joyland, love this amusement park, let's go and check it out. Another beautiful day here in Great Yarmouth, yeah we stayed in a nice little guest house last night and yeah there's Britannia Pier and yeah that new coast is down there at the bottom and of course that was yesterday's vlog on the channel so make sure you check it out if you haven't already seen it and yeah as we make our way around this way you got Joyland with the big green mountain just there, iconic and you can see the Spook Express roller coaster running around the top, <laughs> <laughs> you can just see the top of the snails coming past as well. Yeah you've got an entrance over on the beach but we'll head round the main entrance over here at the front. <laughs> yeah, I love Great Yarmouth. Always great coming down here. It wouldn't be, feel like summer really without coming down to this part of the country. Yeah, it's about a four hour drive for us down here, but it's always worth it. Can Lots of attractions to see. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Oh, that's tasty, isn't it? <laughs> Bubble waffles, mm. And here's a look at the main entrance to the park from here on the seafront. And yeah, as you can see, you've got the big sign for Joyland Children's Fun Park. And yeah, the price is just up there too. So yeah, all rides are one token. And yeah, tokens are £2 each. Yeah, they also do special deals on the bags of tokens just there as well, as you can see. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to Joyland for providing us with some tokens today. Really kind of them. Yeah, you've got the nice sign just over here with all the snails on as well. Fantastic. We're going to make our way in. And of course, we'll take you on all the different rides in here at Joyland in Great Yarmouth. Childhood classic. And here we are then inside the park. So you've got the little token booth just off to the right hand side. I'm sure you've probably seen our vlogs from here before. We come down every year and always really enjoy it. And yeah, you've got the big building in the middle. Yeah, there used to actually be a Noah's Ark up there, fun facts for you. And now, of course, you've got the Spook Express family roller coaster that runs around the top. Just underneath it, you've got a dark ride round at the back and also a little tracks ride here at the front. And of course, the Super Snails just over here on the right hand side. I like how easy to keep the system though. It's one token per person. Whether that's an adult or a child, it's just one token. Of course, tokens are priced now at two pounds. Here we're gonna start off with the snails just over here. Many happy childhood memories coming on here. So it's always nice to come back and give it a go. I absolutely love it, just so cute. Hey, let's go and have a ride on the super snails. Here we are then all loaded up in our snail. Yeah, with these are the antennas that we saw. <laughs> over the fence that we're all walking in. On the classic. Very joy lads. Oh. I like how close you get to all the bushes here. <laughs> and Spook Sorry, Express. <laughs> Snails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you saw them over the top. Glad that summer finally arrived. A little bit later than it should have, but yeah, it's nice weather. I think we've just been holding off some good weather to come and do this trip. We normally come a couple of weeks earlier. All the nice flowers around here. Presentation's lovely. It's only a small little park. What they've got's nice. Here we go. Now, of course, it's up to you whether you class this as a coaster credit or not. It has got drops. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Oh, fantastic. Hey. I mean, it just coasts, so. <laughs> it's so cute. It is a great ride. It just made me very excited for one day when we can bring our kids in. Right, it's at the end. Hey! Thank you! Oh, that was fantastic! Always great starting a visit to Joyland with the Super Snails. There they go! Little airtime hills! <laughs> oh, it's fantastic! 
Yeah, I got lots of photos of me when I was a kid on here, of my mum and dad. Hey! I like how they have the little bow tie on the front oh, as well. I just think they're so cute. I love the red tails as they're going past there. It's just such a fun ride for all the family. It is, and that's the thing with rides like this. It's suitable for everyone, aren't they? Oh, I love it, the nostalgia. I hope it never changes. That's the thing, you know, the very historic rides down here. I don't want them to change. Just so nice to have the keeper up oh, kept so as well. Cute. I love it. You got your little sticker on there as yeah, well? Yeah, so they take a photo of you at the end, give you a sticker, and then, uh, stickers everywhere. yeah, and then you can uh, go and view your photo down there at the end. You got a little pond just here. It's like these little displays as well. A little wishing well, too. Small Ferris wheel around here at the back. And yeah, you've got the dark ride just over here. I think we'll uh, give that a go next. Neptune's Kingdom. Yeah, these past few years they've been doing quite a lot of work in here, so I wonder if they've uh, updated anything else for this year too. Just kind of repainting some of the scenes, updating some of the effects in there as well, but still keeping that classic feel to it. And that's the thing, you won't want to change it too much, because it's the nostalgia that people love. So yeah, this is all like this central building, you've got the coaster on the top, the dark ride here, and then, hey, there it goes, that was good timing. <laughs> and then of course, round on the other side, you've got the little tracks ride. But yeah, we're going to give that Neptune's Kingdom a go just here now. Yeah, you sit on the little seahorses just down here, as we can see. Visit Neptune's Kingdom and see the fantastic underwater world of pearl divers, mermaids, the giant octopus, sunken Trevor Galleon, and King Neptune. Now, I love all that classic signage. It's kind of a ride. And here we go. No hats to be worn on this ride. <laughs> Nice little scenes in here. And a giant octopus. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I like how you can see yourself there in the mirror. Oh. I do like him. <laughs> Little Pepper's ghost effect there as well. In the poop deck. There we go. Nice little ride that is. It's only about a minute long, but I do like it. Looks like they've done even more work in there again. That's the thing every year, just making little enhancements in there. Which is good to see on Neptune's Kingdom. Oh, it's a really nice little dark ride that, isn't it? I absolutely love that. Like, the colours in there are absolutely brilliant. They've done such a good job with that, we love it. Yeah, it's great for families, it really is. Lots to see in there, which is fantastic. And yes, they've updated it, but it's still got that classic nostalgic charm as well. Another little uh, spinning ride here. And of course, the Ferris wheel right next door there too. I love this theme in there. It's actually one of the best themed buildings you'll see in any park in the UK, which you wouldn't expect really from a small little seaside park like this. Um, yeah, the building's awesome, it really is. And like I say, back in the day, there used to be a Noah's Ark um, up there on the top. I mean, way before my time of coming here. But so uh, yeah, there's some old photos of that uh, online. And yeah, there's actually some round on the board just around the corner uh, that you can see as well. Yeah, fantastic. Snails over to the left. Really make the most of the space here, nice and compact. We to make our way over to an absolute classic now. And here it is, it's the one, the only, the Terralian Tub Twist. Yeah, we always love coming down here every year to give this a go. Fantastic ride. It's actually the world's only remaining Virginia reel. Yeah, there used to be quite a few of these out there around the world. This is the only one that has survived until 2023. Look at that lovely blue sky today. It's perfect for tonight because we've got fireworks as well here in Great Yarmouth. Free fireworks on Wednesdays throughout the summer, which is fantastic. Hey! I do like the little water wheel. Yeah, that's the fountain and the water runs down there too, which is nice. Not just there for effect. Very cool. Lift hill just there. Of course, this is an operating roller coaster down here. And the only one left worldwide. Yeah, I would love to have done the old Virginia Reel. It used to be a Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I mean, that was removed many years ago, but 
Yeah, I would love to have done that. <laughs> and we're off. Oh, I love this so much. It's great. Oh! <laughs> hey! Oh! Oh my god, you get spinning loads. That's a whole lot of the lift hill already. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. There she is. Whoa! Quite it's long. like the swift change of direction that gets me. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Like that? Yeah. Oh. And then it just comes to a break and then you go the other way. You may be feeling a bit uh, dizzy now, viewers. Oh. Oh. oh, but this is really fast today. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. <laughs> this is faster than last year, isn't it? It is. Oh my god, oh they're doing some major god. TLC. Oh! Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Are you alright there? Ah. <laughs> What I love is no seat belts or restraints or anything. Oh, but you're no. perfectly safe because you're in your big high tub. Oh, ah! this is really rare. Oh, it's making God. me dizzy today. Oh. It's literally like being on a waltzer on a roller coaster track. Oh, I feel sick. Oh. Ah! 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 This is what I'm coming to an amusement park should be about. Having a laugh, having fun, ah! enjoying the moment. Oh my God, that was. That was me! that is the fastest spin oh. I've ever had on there. Oh my I'm god. I'm sure other people were not spinning that fast. Oh my god. It must have just been the perfect weight for that. I've been riding that for what's got to be like 25 years, ever since I was a kid. And that is the most intense spinning I've ever had on that. I am literally still spinning now that we've got off. I have never spun like that on that. It was really good fun. That was crazy. I mean, you're looking at it off ride and other people don't seem to be spinning that no, much. I don't know. We were spinning so much. Maybe because we sat opposite and got the weight perfect on Maybe there. Maybe so, yeah. yeah. That was awesome, that was. Like, that's generally a thrill ride when it's like oh, that, isn't I'm, it? I'm still spinning. Oh, crazy. But yeah, if you've never been down here, I know I say it every year, but get yourself down here to Great Yarmouth. And yeah, you've got to come and ride that. And like I say, it's the only one left operating anywhere in the world. It's a world famous historic ride. Been operating here since 1950. And yeah, I do really appreciate how they know that it's a special ride and keep it in operation. Uh, but yeah, it's great it's not really on a track. Um, it's kind of like in a trough as it's going around. It's quite hard to explain. Then you've got the wheels that kind of bounce off the side. And then you don't just come to a stop um, slowly. You stop fast and then go the other yeah, way. Yeah, you sort of have a brook stop and then you go the other way. So you're like, uh, 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 uh. Nothing else like it. Like I said, there used to be more around. Blackpool Pleasure Beach used to have one also here in the UK. Never got to do it. It got removed many years ago. Um, but yeah, like, I would have loved to have done a much bigger one. But still, with this being small, in fact, it probably gets you even more it with really the intense makes... spinning because it is so small. And I like the theme of it as well, kind of like all the Swiss mountains and stuff. But yeah, it's a great ride that is. Historic. Getting down here with the snails and that is always a highlight every year. Look at that little track ride that they've got also in the mountain, utilising the space. Nice water there, Charlotte. I need it after that. It was tense, that was. Crazy. Junior skydivers over here. Yeah, it's so compact here, like they pack everything in really tight. But that's what makes it, if they had loads of land and spread it out, it wouldn't be the same. Yeah, you've just seen the little track ride, so we're going to give that a go now. It's the entrance to the Spook Express. Oh, it's down the steps. Busy. Really busy. Yeah, it's good to see. Small little pirate ship down here as well. We'll go on the uh, jet cars just over here. We're going to give these a ride. Oh, and we're off. Well, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> Whoa. I do like that, it's another quite unique ride this one. <laughs> I'm going to take some. <laughs> Jet car! Oh, I always love a visit down here to Joyland. It's going quite fast on these corners. Thank you, dog. We'll see you next week. Yeah, of course, we've got lots of content coming up from Florida. Make our way back out there next week here on Theme Park Worldwide. Which is going to be awesome. We're looking forward to getting back. What I like about this, as much as it's only a small ride for the kids, it's actually just as fun for adults. Like going around the corners quite fast. And instead of it being like an off the shelf generic kind of family ride, yeah, it's got a bit more to it this one with the layout that it does 
and then goes round the tight corners. And we'll head on the Spook Express family roller coaster next. Stinky Pete. Always love seeing Stinky Pete. Woo. I love the sound that this makes as well. getting back on the rise down here at Joyland and yeah of course you've got the roller coaster up here the Spook Express so yeah we're gonna go and give this a ride now got quite a queue all the way down here I like the big tree that you've got as well some good theming at this part that's the thing it's tiny but yeah there's some really nice bits of theming just the history of it and they always keep the prices nice and reasonable down here as well which is good but yeah there's the design and building of this a lot of thought had to go into it didn't it with it combining three rides you know all in that one building yeah I think that's fantastic little pirate ship over there let's go have a ride it's gonna be beautiful weather for these fireworks tonight so make sure you join us in the next vlog which will be coming up from Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach yeah about a 15 20 minute walk from here down the seafront and yeah like I say Britannia Pier's next door and they've got a new coaster as well so yeah lots to come and see down here lots of businesses to come and see and support and visit let's have a good time in the British seaside summer and that's the thing, when the sun actually comes out here in the UK, it's lovely at the seaside, isn't it? Back on the snails again, just here. <laughs> I thought I've managed to get a photo of the snails, so we've gone on for a ride. Hey, got some photos of Charlotte. <laughs>
just on the snails and also the tubs again. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you some of the older pictures that they've got here at Joyline so you can see it over the years. Now uh, look at this, and down here at the bottom, you can see the Noah's Ark, so obviously the Spook Express now runs around there. Yeah, you can still see the uh, racing jacks just down there, the snails off to the side, yeah, how different it used to look just over there. Speedboats here, the old carousel. Yeah, what a piece of history, but especially that image there, fantastic. Some more off-ride footage there of the Spook Express here in Great Yarmouth at Joyland. Love the little children's amusement park that, isn't it? What I love about Joyland is the nostalgia. People have come as kids, then they've bought their kids, then they've got your grandparents. People just love it, which is really nice. It's fun for everyone there as well. And of course, it is a children's amusement park. However, you do get a lot of adults who've got them childhood memories, such as myself, and going in there and loving it. They're bringing their kids as well. It's just really cute. It is, yeah. That's the thing. It's generation to generation. And that's the thing with something like this. Yes, there's been some updates over the years. Um, such of course of when they took out the Noah's Ark and built this mountain with the Spook Express but they've kept the classics and of course the snails and the tubs it's them two rides that are the main draw here isn't I it? I absolutely love the snails they're just so cute. Yeah they're fantastic I struggled to pick a favourite between the two but they're both absolute classics they've been operating here for over 70 years um, which is amazing it really is and the fact that this park keep them up, up kept and uh, yeah look after them rides is amazing it always looks really nice and pristine here as well and uh, that's the thing it's such a small site but you know what they've got a lot packed in there uh, which is really good to see and uh, everybody always loves it it's busy every time we come down oh, here, it's it? so busy now which is lovely to see i think it's nice as well location on the seafront it's a paper ride park you can walk around for free you can do one ride or you can get a token deal and do lots of rides it's very affordable for people and uh, yeah that's the great thing with it down here of course next up we're going to be making our way over to great yarmouth pleasure beach aren't we oh, i'm really looking forward to it no log flume for you though now yes fun I can't believe no it. No Salt Express The Salty me. Express has been removed, <laughs> but uh, we'll be talking about that and all the latest updates in the next vlog coming up from our little trip to the east coast of England this summer. Uh, but here from Joyland, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in tomorrow's vlog.